Hey everyone, before we get into this episode, I just want to take time to thank everyone that's helped me get to that thousand sub mark. Uh, it really does mean a lot. Uh, it's been a long time and I don't really push my episodes and ask for subscribers. So to get that without asking is a big deal to me and I appreciate it. I really want to give a shout out to the Baltimore Angler, uh, Mark from Catfish and Crappie, uh, John from Hook Catfish, um, Has Life and Catterman and um you know even chunky cats lately uh you guys really pushed my my uh channel and i really appreciate it, it means a lot and you know you guys that are support me uh in the comments like p city smitty and ramrod raymond and mark share all these people that are on there all the time commenting with me and talking to me that, that's really cool i can't ask for anything more than that thank you guys now let's get into some cat catching some fish what's up everyone welcome to another episode of fly daddies down here on the potomac and i'm going to catch more blue cats uh i'll show you some footage here i really got into the shad the first set of my gill net destroyed them uh, i got more shad that i'm going to need so i'm getting an earlier start than i usually do uh it's really cold i mean it's well below freezing because everything on my boat is freezing all the water from the gill nets froze up but i had a little tap on my one rod already while i was uh setting up um uh, i'm i'm in the spot where i've been doing pretty well it's i don't know why they're in here it's it's just a flat uh there's really nothing much on the bottom it's like 20 some foot of water but i've had a lot of luck here especially with the incoming tide and that's what we got right now so i'm going to just give it a shot again and maybe it'll pay off you guys seeing this i don't think he's very big oh you know what it's coming up river coming up river i think we might actually have a decent fish on here yeah i'm gonna crank down because this line's coming right up there he is yeah this guy took it and rolled with it man all right yeah he was uh he was hauling Doesn't feel like he's big enough to be able to do that, but. Oh, wait a second. I grabbed my net. Where did I put it? Oh, crap. Did I leave that on my truck? I might have left it on my truck. I might have to go back and grab my net, guys. This is. That's not good. Hey, that's a good starter fish. No. I wonder where I put that. Yeah, he's got some belly to him. All right, there's number one. Probably about eight, maybe nine pounds. Healthy fish though, nice big, you know, meaty body on them. So I'll let him go. Maybe we'll get some more fish. Uh, but I am soon gonna go back and try to look for my net because I don't know what I did with that. Cannonball. There's my net. Luckily there's some honest people around here. All right guys, well, we're in the dreaded slack tide right now so what i got going on is i'm anchored up and i just have my rod suspended just um just a foot or two off the bottom and uh you know that way as it, as the wind kind of blows me a little bit my rods aren't going to get tangled up they're not going to get crossed over because they're they're actually up off the, the bottom um i'm going to do this until the sl the tide picks back up it'll probably start going out here another half hour and then i can just anchor up you know keep anchored and just throw my lines out the back again uh makes for better takedowns and better better videoing uh filming whatever so that's the that's the plan see how it works no <sighs> Woo! feisty little guy Oh, you gotta love when they hit on uh, sus suspended. I know I didn't get it. I wasn't expecting to really get anything, so I didn't have it recording. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I think I'm just about at the point where I'll be able to uh, suspend it or uh, cast down again. Uh, there's a little bit of a tide now, so another little guy, but he's a fish. Man, he's pale. 
making me think maybe they're down deep. Whoa, look at this guy. Woo. Five pounds maybe. Oh well, he's a fish, right? What in the world is that thing? Look at this thing coming down. Oh, that looks like a wave generator 2000. Maybe even a 3000. Holy crap. Those links are affiliates. Yeah, I saw the bite. I saw that little baby bite. guys well i need to get out of this area it's just so much crap as you can see coming down with the tide i'm gonna go up above it um i was gonna hit dc but then i remembered i didn't buy the license or print it out i could buy it but i wouldn't be able to print it out so i think i'm just gonna go a little bit further up hopefully I get out of this crap so but it's just a pain i'm not gonna catch anything with all that on my lines all right guys well i'm fishing deep water and that's not working uh there's a lot of flow I don't know what's going on. I mean, it's tidal. I mean, it always gets this way, but I don't know what's going on. I'm marking fish like crazy. Uh, but, it, you know, it's 38 degree water. Um, it's going to be a slow bite. I think I'm eventually going to make my way up to D.C., uh, up in the three-rod territory, just uh, just give it a shot. I mean, it usually produces something, at least. But I might try another spot before I get all the way up there. But I'm going to have to change something up. 20-foot uh, wasn't working. Now... 40 to 50 foot isn't working so we'll see all right guys well i, I went up to uh washington dc almost made it up there got about where the washington monument is and uh the coast guard uh pulled pulled me over and strongly suggested that i don't go any further because they could shut it down at any moment so came back down here maryland waters um you know wasted a bunch of gas and time doing that but the current's really strong and I anchored out further out in the channel and it was just ripping. So I came over a little bit um, to the eastern side. There's a nice deep hole. I'm marking some fish. I'm getting some taps, uh, but yeah, there's not as much trash going through the water here. So it's kind of nice. Everywhere else there's logs and debris and it's just getting stuck on my line. So I'm going to fish here for a little bit. I was trying to see what... Oh, oh. That's a fish. That, that's what a fish looks like. Ugh. That's what a fish looks like, guys. I hope that takedown was on. Hey, looks like I've been in the wrong spot. Oh, come on. Get out of that line. Oh, get out of there. Ah, oh, get out of that line. Oh, what is this all about? Well, he's the biggest of the day. I was just, sorry, I was talking with somebody on Facebook and uh, I wanted to, I accidentally clicked something on there. I was seeing if, what was going on, but uh, yeah, we got a decent fish here. He's over 10 pounds, I'd say. Um, I've been fishing deep. Most of the day, you probably didn't see much of it because there was no action, but. Um, uh, I moved back to where I started today, which is a lot shallower. And bam, there's a probably about a 15 pounder real quick, just off the bat. Boom. All right, guys. Well, it's been a while since I held one of these guys. It's been all day. Uh, Work my way back down towards the ramp and I'm fishing that shallower water. What does it say? 21 feet behind the boat. This guy, I mean, it was two minutes. And this guy folded it over. I'd say he's probably about 10 or 11 pounds, but hey, he's a fish. That's number three of the day. Let's get him back in and uh, yeah, get this line back out. <sighs> it's a good feeling. 
I also got a gigantic mess. That's a fish. Oh. oh, that's a fish. Man, I've been fishing in the wrong spot, guys. Yeah, got the takedown though. All right, he's growing. He was doing some head shakes, I wasn't sure, but he's growing now. <sighs> Man. Now I'm getting bites over there. Is that going to be a double? I think he's on there. Ah, maybe I should have let him take it some more. All right, where, how's it tangled on this line here? I can't figure it out. Whatever, we'll figure that out once he's up here. No sense in losing him. Trying to untangle it that far out. All right, so this is the fish I'm going to be catching today. It's better than no fish, better than giving up. Man, I'd like to be able to fish here at night sometime because it seems like the end of the day lately I've been doing a lot better than the rest of the day. Come on, fish feeling a little heavier because I'm dragging up the other line which is dragging on the bottom but yeah he's my chunkiest yet come on fish almost pulled the hook right out of his mouth here oh man yeah he's barely hooked yeah. oh my god what a mess I've got going on out there There we go. Ah, that's a good chump. I'd say somewhere 15 pounds. I don't know. He's a good fish. I'm happy with that. Uh, you know, he's not exactly the caliber I'm looking at from down here, but you got to be happy with what you catch. If if it's a slow day, just be happy that you're getting fish. You don't, you know, you're not always going to catch a monster out here. But this is a fish, and I've worked hard for it. I'm really happy for this guy. It was fun. So once he lets go of my thumb, I'm going to let him go. There we go. I'm just ease it out of there. All right, what do we got going on here? What do we got here? What do we, what do we got here, guys? That's a takedown. Oh, oh, that's a that's a fish right there, guys. End of the day fish again. Whoo! He feels pretty good. Still fighting some current, but he feels a lot better than what I've been catching. I don't like that he came up to the surface out there. Oh, there he goes. He's swimming up now. He's swimming up. That's a good sign, guys. I was actually pulling my lines in. I want to go meet somebody to give him some bait. And, uh, yeah i this one oh that's a that's a mondo dude that is a big fish out there stay on i can't believe he's up at the surface what's that big fish doing out there oh my god that's a good fish is he wrapped up or something come on fishy Yeah, that's a good one. Now he's on a log. There's all kinds of debris coming down and somehow he got on that. He's he's like lassoed. I don't know what's going on with this fish. It's coming in so weird for such a big fish. Like he can't swim, so something's wrong with it. The way he's, he's tangled up or something. Man, the last thing I need is for him to get in this line, too. Alright, come on, fish. What's going on with you? You're huge. 
Where's your, where's your libido at? Where's your, where's your spunk? I'm just dragging you in. I think it's in the corner of his mouth, but I can't tell. I gotta get my net. I don't even have that set up because it's been such a slow day. Sometimes you get lazy with the net and the fish aren't helping or doing anything for you. Let's get this. Show him where, look at this fish guy, this is a huge head. He's just coming in like a dog. Like I just hooked a log and I'm dragging him up. You know, I'm happy I got a big fish on here, but you know, you, you go for these big fish because you want to fight. Oh well. Please stay hooked, buddy. I, that hook doesn't look too great where it's at. All right. Oh, that's a heavy fish, man. That's a Oh, he's whisker hooked, I think. Oh, he just barely whisker hooked. Come on in a little bit. All right. Yeah. Ooh, that's good. That's a good fish. Oh. Yeah, he's heavy. He's heavy. Why'd he come in so slow or like that? Look at this toad, guys. I guess you can't see him right now. Absolute giant. I don't know if that's a personal bass, but thing is, it's pushing it. That thing is a monster. I'm gonna get the hook out and uh, try to get him up here for you guys to see, get a weight on him too. All right, guys. Here's a 53 pound catfish. Just like that, end of the day, man. You never know when they're gonna bite. You never know. I was actually bringing in some lines to go meet somebody and boom. <laughs> what a beast. All right, guys. Uh, thank you. Guys, y'all make sure to check, oh. check him out. I'll put him on, on his short video. Back in the water, go. If I can get this line. Yeah. yeah. I I don't like to keep him out of the water, but I was like, well. Oh, he's, he's happy. He's oh yeah, it, I just caught him, man. <laughs> hey, get off! Oh, the, line, the line was on his tail. <laughs> oh. That's awesome. That's yeah, awesome. the boat's kind of a disaster at the moment because I wanted to get him in and get over here. Yeah, that's a catfishing slime boat for sure. Oh yeah, let me get this hook yeah, in. Wait, Cooler pool here. Oh. Whatever you want to give me. Uh, I'm just going to freeze them and they're no good frozen. So whatever oh, you want. They're not good frozen? They, I mean, I'll, uh, I vacuum seal them and they're still good, but they get soft, you know, like their meat gets I'm soft. I'm going to give a couple to uh, Hazlock. Yeah, I'm going to grab a bag of ice on the way home. I'm yeah. Gonna some ice. I appreciate that, man. No problem. I really do. Thanks a lot, man. Uh, what, tell us your YouTube channel name. Oh, uh, just the, the Flatty Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I call you the Fatty Daddy. <laughs> Well, there's actually all right guys that was a really good fish to end the end the day on and uh when i was releasing that fish you guys might have recognized that person there that's talking to me that was elston aka the chunky cats uh, way bigger youtuber than me and it was just cool to talk to him um i had a bunch of extra shad and he was just picking some up but uh yeah it was great to talk to him he's a real cool guy if you haven't checked him out yet somehow you you've seen my channel you haven't seen his go check out it his channel he does a lot of live streams and he's got the coolest live stream i've ever seen with all his lights and all that yeah he's that guy with all the neon lights and stuff it's awesome so i hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching stay tuned for some more good stuff